Hey Aries, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in, Aries. Oh, okay. Already popping out. The full energy. Mm. New beginnings, leap of faith. Okay. What's going on with Aries this week? Messages for Aries. Eight of Pentacles. Someone's very focused. Some of you could have uh, started school. Um, maybe what, what semester is this spring semester? Yeah. Some of you could have just started school. Yeah. And strength card. It could be very difficult right now for some of you. Leo's energy is coming through. You're trying to be strong, trying to be focused. Uh, some of you are teachers. I feel that energy coming through with the eight of pentacles. Okay. Something to do with school. You could be in school or you could be teaching in school, like teaching class. Okay. Some of you have started a new workout regimen. You're working on your strength, like the strength of your body. Some of you have just started a bunch of new things, like new things are happening for you. Doors are opening this year. You're feeling good, feeling great. Okay. You're feeling strong, maybe stronger than you did last year. I'm feeling that energy for Aries, for you in particular. Okay. I haven't even picked up the energy of anyone else yet. Okay. But I feel such a strong new beginning for you. There's something new here about you. You're you're standing very strong in your power. I feel feel like a lot of you are working on your physique. Um, a lot of you are either starting class in school. You've started. It, it may be a bit, you know, difficult, <laughs> but you're working it out, right? You're working it out. Okay, what is the full energy here? Let's get into it. So that's just the initial energy, but let's clarify. Okay, so justice is here. Libra's major arcana. Virgo is here with the hermit. Okay, queen of wands. So someone is, it's like they want to take a leap of faith or they could be saying, I want to take a leap of faith. I want to do this, but I, I'm i still in hermit mode. <laughs> I'm still in hermit mode. I'm still thinking about how to say this, <clears throat> how to do this. Someone is very attracted to you. Okay, with that King of Wands energy, this could be someone a bit older for some of you. Could be someone a bit older than you. Hmm, what is that Eight of Pentacles for Aries? We have the Two of Cups. Oh, I pulled two. Queen of Cups and Hangman. Okay, someone is seeing you in a new light. They feel like they have feelings for you with the Two of Cups energy. They're very focused on you. This is someone who you could work with or someone you could uh, be in class with, okay? Someone you may have been to the gym with. Could be a personal trainer for some of you. I'm looking at this uh, hangman as like a, what is it, bench press? <laughs> yeah, you know, that looks like the bench press. Yeah, whatever you call it. So anyway, I just feel like someone is really working on their body or you could have met this person at a gym or, yeah, class, work, yeah, something like that. This person is seeing you differently. They're seeing you as someone who's like a really good friend, but also someone they uh, that they could have feelings for. They're very attracted to you, okay? I feel their emotions are all tied up with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So why is the strength card here? Please, for Aries. Yeah, eight of wands. They could be at a distance from you. Ten of swords. The chariot. Okay, someone could be trying to move right now. Working on trying to move. They could be could definitely be at a distance from you. Okay. Others of you, it's like someone could be trying to talk to you after something has ended. They're trying to be brave. They could be very confident. Okay. Not trying to be confident, but this person could be very confident and wanting to come in and talk to you. Okay. Could want to message you. Um, but they may be afraid that you don't want to talk or you, you know, you're not interested. Chariot is here. Cancerian energy could be dealing with a cancer, Leo. Okay. But I feel like this person, they want to talk. They want to say something to you, possibly about betrayal. Okay. For others of you, someone wants to talk to, talk to you about something ending. Mm. They could be willing to travel to come see you. Okay. What is this person's intentions for Aries? What are their intentions? Woo. Okay. Wow. Ace of cups. 
the high priestess. They could be keeping this a secret that they really are feeling the love for you. They feel very emotional over you. Ten of cups, they see you as their happiness. This person is very spiritual or very mysterious, I feel. Very quiet. They don't say much. This person is very quiet. You could be starting a new love situation with this person. Maybe they're coming out of something that was very bad or toxic. Another toxic situation where they were hurt. Three of swords. Yeah. Or maybe you were hurt in a past situation and this person is coming in as a new lover, new love interest. Yeah. Who's willing to take things slow with you with the Knight of Pentacles there. This person could be very protective over you, over you as well. Five of Swords. Some of you, it's like you're getting justice for maybe going through a lot of hurt or pain. Okay. Maybe some of you went through a divorce or a separation with that justice card. Okay. And you've just been in hermit mode. You haven't been really talking to people that much. You've just been focused on yourself. Yeah. You are in your energy. You've just been focused on yourself, Aries. And out of the blue, here comes someone, possibly, like I said, at work, in your classes, someone who kind of sees you around, someone comes to try to talk to you or offer you something. Okay. Someone could have known what you went through as well. Maybe they're a friend who saw what you went through with a bad, a bad breakup or a separation. Okay. How do you feel? How does Aries feel in this situation about this? Oh, about this person. <laughs> okay. Aries, <laughs> the, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Okay. Taurus energy is here. The horror font. Okay. So you could be laying the law down saying like, I only want higher levels of commitment. I don't want any fuck boys, fuck girls. I am serious about my stuff. Yeah, Will of Fortune, you're looking at your future and you're like, okay, if you don't want marriage or if you don't want a serious commitment, I'm probably not the one for you, okay? Some of you Aries are looking for higher higher levels of commitment at this time in your life. You're very optimistic about this person or the situation. If you've already been talking to this person, you see it going somewhere. You see yourself married to this person, okay? Yeah, five of cups. I feel, see, in the past, maybe you had a lot of shitty ass relationships or you're just now coming out of something that was very shitty. Okay, with the five of cups, there's a lot of regrets from the past. Okay, but what about this person? What about this person though? See, six of wands. You may feel victory with this person. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh. now let me say this some of you feel victory with a new person you feel like it's going to lead to marriage okay someone new in your life maybe you've been dating this person for a year maybe six months or something like that you feel the potential of it going somewhere there's another set of you though that may feel like this person the regrets that you have are from this person treating you wrong Okay, being a player and seven of swords. Okay, you may feel like, okay, I just got out of something and I need time to heal. Okay, or you could have dated this person and been like, you cheated or you were a liar and I don't want to deal with anyone unless they are coming in correct. Okay, so two sets of you that I'm feeling. Some of you who are dating someone new, you're feeling it. You want to marry this person. They're filling it with you. They see happiness with you. The 10 of cups with you. They're very smart and very spiritual with you. They feel a connection with you. High priest to the high priestess. Very spiritual connection between you and another individual. Okay. That's if you're dating someone new. For others of you who are feeling regrets from the past, you dealt with a player and a liar and a manipulator. And you're a bit scarred from that. And you're saying, if I move forward with anyone, I don't want it to be a fuck boy, fuck girl. I need it to be someone who's coming in to marry or to have a committed relationship. I'm thinking about my future. Okay. So that's what you're saying. So two different sets coming through. Okay. But someone may come back for another opportunity, another chance with you from the past. Okay. Let's go to the Kipper deck. What does Aries need to know about this person or this situation? What does Aries need to know? 
What does Aries need to know about this person or this situation? What do we have? What do we have? Okay. We have community. Okay. Something could have got out in the community. Maybe there was gossip or something. This could be someone in your neighborhood. Remember I was saying someone could be 39. Okay. That age is coming through. Um, someone in your community. I feel like this is someone who, you know, someone could be very into their family or having gatherings, social gatherings. Someone is very into their family or their friends. I feel like this is someone that is close to you. Someone, you know, okay. Or someone you could have dated. Now we do have change and wealthy man. Okay. Someone could be changing locations to move closer to you. Okay. If they're at a distance, wealthy man, this could be someone who could have changed their financial status. Um, they're coming back more uh, financially stable or someone is just wealthy as far as their health, wealthy in peace, wealthy in love. Okay. Someone who is very abundant and you're coming into a union with this person. They're filling the 10 of cups for you. Okay. And you're filling the hard font and the will of fortune toward them. And I feel like your status may change. Okay. You may be coming into union with someone who is very financially well off for a lot of you. Okay. Look at that unexpected income at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are, are getting in alignment with someone who could be very well off and your financial status may change, okay? Not to say that you can't take care of yourself or you're not paying your bill. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you may be um, coming into alignment with someone who is uh, giving you something that's very unexpected. Yeah, they could tell you this with a message, unexpected income. <clears throat> yeah, this person is trying to judge on what to do. Someone could work in the ju judicial system as well. I do want to say that. That's their occupation. Yeah. Someone, some of you could be dating your boss. This wealthy man could be wealthy woman, wealthy man, doesn't matter. This wealthy person could be your boss. They could give you a job or they could... Um, offer you a different position in the company and it's very unexpected. It comes out of the blue, very unexpected <laughs> income. You're just like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They called me into the office and yeah, they just, <laughs> um, but you don't know that this person also is interested in you as well. Okay. This may be an unexpected surprise. Okay. That someone that you work with is interested in you. That's for some of you. Someone in your neighborhood could be very interested in you. Okay. Yeah. Let go. I feel like this is saying let go of like control issues or let go of, uh, in anything from your past that could be holding you back past hurt, past disappointments, let go of that energy. Okay. Because I feel like spirit is really trying to bless you this time. You may have dealt with a bunch of bullshit in your past. But I feel like you've learned from that. You've been taking care of yourself, your mental health, your heart space, your heart chakra. I feel like a lot of you are healing from the anger or hurt or disappointment that you went through with the past person and you're letting go. You're setting yourself free from that energy or you need to so that spirit can bring someone brand new into your life. As far as it being a new lover, you may know this person, but uh, it may be a new love situation. Yeah. Get more information. Check this person out. Cause I feel like someone is coming in. Who's very legit. Someone's coming in. Who's good. They're good. They want to offer a lot. See within the next few weeks. I don't know. Some of you may be dating a new person in the next few weeks. Okay. In the near future. <laughs> Okay, Aries, be on the lookout within the next few weeks in the near future. Something is getting ready to change in your favor. That change is there. And I feel like this may happen in front, possibly in front of a lot of people. Okay, a lot of people in your community may see this. They may be happy for you. Okay, let's see. Let's go to this deck. No, let's go to this deck. Okay, what does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? Okay. What does this person want to say to Aries? Okay. 
Look at that. You made me believe in love again. Now, this could be you saying this as well. You made me believe in love again. Okay. Someone had given up on love. Okay. This person could have gone through a divorce or a tough time in their past. Remember I was saying that at the beginning, someone could have went through a really difficult time with ex lovers or whatever, and they find love with you or vice versa, or maybe that's your shared experience together that the two of you have both been through shitty ass relationships and now the two of you are finding love like in a hopeless place. I don't mean to sound cheesy, but it's like you find love with each other. Someone is looking at someone as a spouse, wife, queen, spouse. Yes. Someone is marriage minded. Uh-huh. Someone could be crying, mourning the death of a, a marriage. Someone could have gone through the, the death of a spouse or a family member, even a friend. But someone could be mourning the death of a relationship, okay? Mourning from past things. Someone could have lost their wife, okay? It says, I love hard. I am serious. Someone is telling you, look, Aries, I'm serious. I don't want to come to play with you, okay? I don't want to play games with you. I'm serious about you. I want kids. Look at that. I want a family. I love kids. I'm ready for kids, Someone could want to have kids with you. They could want to build something with you that's long-term, long-lasting. I feel like this person is ready for something that is going to really blow your mind. And I feel like you're getting ready to <laughs> kind of get swept off your feet, okay? Whether you're male or female, I feel like someone is coming in to show you that that love that you've been craving, that love that you've been missing, okay? Some of you may feel like you have everything you know, going for yourself, but you don't have that companion, that partnership. And I feel like if you're open to it, spirit is bringing someone in, but you got to let go of the past before it comes in. You have to clear yourself out of those old, you know, flames, old connections, people who disappointed you, hurt you, clear yourself away from those things. And they need to do this as well. Okay. So love can come in. Alrighty, Aries, that is your energy. And that is all I have for you for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.